Hey everyone, what is going on? My name is Arch Live, and in today's video, we're going to be giving you guys a tutorial as how to dress up as the Joker from Suicide Squad in GTA 5. The reason I'm making this is because I actually did this myself uh, about a week ago. It was my birthday, and I went to see Suicide Squad, the actual film, and I hopped on GTA 5 later and decided I would kind of experiment around, try and dress up as the Joker. Um, and it came out alright, and this is the footage that you guys are seeing now. I actually recorded a bit of it on the Rockstar to just kind of showcase it to you guys. Uh, basically, I'm going to be showing you the actual clothes, the outfits, face paint, all that kind of stuff so you guys know where I got it from. Uh, and we're just going to go through it all, and I'll give you guys my verdict on the different outfits that I've got. So, we have four outfits to go with this Joker outfit. The first one is the main one that I'm showcasing the most, which is the one without any top on, because that fits with this kind of premise on some of the adverts of Suicide Squad. I like that one the most because of the tattoos being on show and that's one of the key and obviously most expensive parts of the outfit because the tattoos weren't cheap. Um, for tattoos, I wouldn't stick to any specific ones. I mean, you guys can see which ones I've used roughly and you'd probably be able to match them in a tattoo parlor, but I'm not going to go through them specifically only because I feel like you could do it towards what you think the Joker would have for tattoos. Mine are based more around money and blackjack high cards and like kind of gambling, that kind of thing. So more card games and money for my Joker, but it could be other things for your Joker if you want to be doing this. Um, but that's what I've gone for. Other outfits, we have Joker in a suit, which he is kind of seen occasionally wearing. I'm not too sure about the jacket, really, but the uh, the shirt and everything else kind of matches. Obviously, in GTA, you can't get everything to be perfect because there isn't literally an outfit for every occasion as such because certain colours aren't there and you just kind of have to play with it. And the next outfit for you guys is the coat outfit, the overcoat, which has a little gold chain underneath, which isn't too easy to notice and one of the things I dislike about this outfit. And obviously, the colour of the outfit isn't perfect because you would want a purple overcoat, as you guys have seen possibly in the trailer for Suicide Squad, hence why you might be watching this. Um, but because we only have navy as the closest match, that's the one I had to go for. Because obviously I wouldn't have wanted white, cream or green, so that was the best option at the time. So not the best outfit, but it's one you could consider as well. And the fourth outfit for you guys is the white tuxedo that the Joker wears in the Lamborghini chase scene with Batman. thought this one was pretty good because it kind of is a pretty good match of it. And it's just something alternative if perhaps if you want to get the purple Lamborghini. Which I won't be showcasing in this but I will be saying my recommendations at the end of the video for what vehicle to get. And I'll be showing you guys how I would be able to, how we would purchase it. So overall for this cosplay the main focus here is the makeup and the hair. Because that is one of the main pieces of his look. So once we've got the outfit out of the way and we've talked about the tattoos, this is the main feature you need to have for the Joker. So obviously, I've gone for the high slicked sides haircut in a bright green colour. There's a few greens and you can almost kind of pick and choose which one you like, but I've picked this shade of green as you guys can see. And for face paint, this isn't exactly the right face paint that you guys might have gone for. There is a Halloween one that came out, obviously in the Halloween update for GTA, but because it was only temporary, I didn't actually grab it while I could. So I will be showing you guys a bit of footage here of someone else with the face paint on, and that will show you guys what I mean. I would have that probably over what I chose, and with the face paint that I chose, if you guys don't have that Halloween face paint, don't have it on 100% opacity, only because if you have it on 100%, the black bits of the face paint that are there kind of become a bit too apparent. If you have it on about 50-60% opacity or maybe 70, it, you see, I see the white on the face enough, but the other bits of the makeup and all that aren't too visible, which is good. And for lipstick, I've gone for bright red matte lipstick because it kind of defines the mouth a bit more and it kind of goes a little bit with the face paint and looks, looks a bit more Jokerish. In terms of weapons, there aren't really any specific ones that the Joker would use uh, in a cosplay. You could possibly go for tear gas grenades to match the laughing gas that he might use, but it's really all down to you and it depends on what you guys are happy with and what you would like to see. In terms of vehicles for you guys, I would recommend you get the Pegasi Reaper, and when you modify it, get it to have a matte purple look because that'll be really kind of Jokerish coloured, and that will go with the white suit that I mentioned earlier. Possibly get neon uh, lights underneath in the purple colour as well, and any other little finishing touches like wheels, things like that. Uh, I wouldn't go for limo tinted windows unless you guys feel it's appropriate. Again, it's down to personal, personal preference, but I would possibly go for them, possibly not. It depends on what kind of look you're trying to go for. You're trying to show off the Joker within the car. You might not want to have the limo uh, windows, but if you want to kind of make it look more slick and kind of discolored and kind of stays out the way, doesn't it blends in more with the background, then you might want to have the limo windows and it's kind of more shifty driving through at night, which would be obviously the key time to be driving around as a Joker. 
Anyway, that brings an end to the cosplay video that I was doing for you guys today. If you guys would like to see more of these, if you like what I'm doing, then leave a thumbs up and possibly leave suggestions down in the comments for what I should do next. I'd be more than happy to have a look at different suggestions and see what to go for. Obviously, certain characters I might not be able to do because they are too outlandish and too different to how the GTA clothes system works, but I'll do my best and I'll see if I can come up with ideas for anyone who suggests them in the comments. So go crazy with that and see what you guys can come up with. But apart from that, Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this tutorial was helpful for any of you wanting to dress up as the Joker from Suicide Squad. Those of you who haven't seen the film, I would very much recommend it. It's a brilliant film. I don't think the, critic, the critical reviews towards it were justifiably harsh. I think some of the points they made were fair enough, but I think the film itself was brilliant as well. So that's just my little verdict. But again, it's personal preference. It's down to people's opinions, so I don't want to kind of have an argument over it with people in the comments. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Leave a like if you enjoyed. And guys, I'll see you all in the next video.